In this tutorial we're going to examine how paths interact with one another within Inkscape. If you want you can download this uh, document for the tutorial and work on the same file at the same time. Let's say that we've selected these two objects and we want to see what happens when we apply a union to those two objects. If we go path, union, we see that union behaves just as we would expect it to from set theory. In other words, any points that are in either object are now included in our new object. The only question that you might ask is how did it decide which of the two colors to use? And the answer is always it will choose the underlying object. So that's how union behaves. Let's try the next one. See how difference behaves. Path difference. And now we see that what's happened is we have one object and what remains is the portion of the original that was not overlapped by the second object. So again, the object that's on the bottom is the one that is the primary object and we are applying the one on top as a secondary path. And next one will be intersection. Now if you know anything about set theory, you'll probably know how this one behaves. We go path, intersection, and indeed what's left are the points that were shared by both objects. So in a way it's the opposite of union. Union includes all the points in either object and this one only includes the points that they shared. Again, it acquires its color from the object that was in the background the primary object. Let's see how exclusion works. Now exclusion is very much a combination of union and intersection. In exclusion we would take the union of the two and then take away the intersection of the two. So what we're left with is the union minus the intersection. Division is an interesting one. And sometimes the first time we try it, we think nothing's happened. Click on Division, and it doesn't appear that anything has taken place. Our star is just gone. But if we click in here, we realize that we now have two objects. So the second object was used to divide the first object into two or more parts. In this case we just ended up with two parts. And finally we have the cut path. We'll highlight these two objects. Apply cut path. And again it's not really clear what we have here. So if we select this object and we'll go Control shift f to bring up the Fill and Stroke dialog box and if we apply a stroke, what we can see now is that if we click on parts of it, the object has actually been cut. Where it was crossed by the star. So that's the way that our objects interact in path mode in Inkscape.